Google Suite for Small Businesses Complete Google Workspace Tutorial Hey guys, welcome! In this video, I'm gonna give you a complete Google Workspace Tutorial How to use Google Suite for Small Businesses So, let's get into it First of all, what you guys need to do is you can go to workspace.google.com and you will land right here You can also search for Google Suite and it'll take you right here Now, Google Workspace is a flexible, innovative solution for people and organization to achieve more. In Google Workspace, we get all of the different applications by Google and it is your own suite for your small business. You will be able to get your own Google Forms, Google Site, then we have Google Meet, your drive right here in one place. In order to get started with Google Workspace, you can click on Get Started. And now we can actually sign up for Google Workspace. You can see with Google Workspace, we can get our own custom email with our domain. Uh, there is a cloud-based, no installation needed. It is completely cloud-based. Then uh, we have advanced security and admin features, and uh, we are also getting a free trial. First of all, you have to enter your business name here. This is for your business, and it will give you a business email as well for free uh, within your plan. So you have to enter your business name what i'm going to do is i'm going to enter ours once you have added the business name now you have to enter your number of employees uh, so it is good for up to 300 you know people and we have different employees so i'm going to go with two to nine uh, this is what we have and then you have to select your region now you're going to click on next all right, what's your contact info? Here you have to actually enter your first name, last name, and your current email address. If you do not have a business email, that's okay. You can just enter your simple email address here. Now it's asking, does your business have a domain? Because with Google Workspace, you will be getting your own custom domain. Uh, so if you already have one, you can click on, yes, I have one and I will use it. And you can also go with, no, I need one. So let me show you both of these options. If you have a domain name you will click on this option and then it will ask you to enter your domain name right here for instance my domain name is this right here and i'm going to click on next so it will find the domain name for me uh, you can see right here uh, use this domain to set up your account so this is how it is this is going to be your domain name this is your main business name that you will be using on google workspace and this is going to be your new domain so this is for the option if you already have a domain, but if you want to buy one with Google Workspace, then you will use this option, which says, I want to buy a domain name. So let's say that I do not have a domain name and I want to buy one. So I'm going to search for it and it will give me the option if it is available or not. So I'm looking for this domain name right here. And it'll show me if it's available or not. If it's not available, then it'll show you that, you know, it's not available. So here we have it. And then what I can do is I can use this domain name and I will be able to buy it. So you can see this one is not available. Uh, then we have howtodigital.net. This is also not available. And then we have this one right here at the bottom. This is going to be the domain price. You can see for a year. Now I can search more and buy the one that is actually available. Uh, so you select the domain from here and you can get started with that domain name. Here we have it. I'm going to select it and now I can click on next. Now I have my own domain. So this is how it is. And after that, you just have to click on OK. So now our Google Workspace has been set and you can see uh, now I'll just sign in. So you have to enter your username right here and you can see now it has my new men too. We have our password and then you're going to agree and agree and continue and it will log you in to your Google Workspace. So after the initial setup, you will get your own workspace and this is our main admin. In our admin, we have home, a directory, we have devices, apps, billing and account. So if I click on apps, it will show you uh, your different apps that we have. In Google Workspace, you can see we have our own service status. We have Google Calendar, Cloud Search, Currents, Drives and Documents, Gmail, Google Chat and Classic Hangouts. We have Google Meet, Grips for Businesses, Jamboard, Keep, Migrate, Sites, Tasks, and additional Google services. So this is what you will be getting within your Google Workspace. So let's say I want to go to Google Meet. So I will click on Google Meet and all I have to do is uh, just, and it will open up for me. So now I have Google Meet and I can now 
enter my statuses right here uh, I will be able to actually do video meetings with my Google workspace and I'll able to add different contexts very easily in my directory in my directory I'll be able to add organizations I'll be able to manage them better you can see we have groups and we have users uh, so I'll first add the context right here in users and groups and then what I can do is I'll be able to communicate better with them with using Google chat so what I can do is I can actually go to Google Chat and Classic Hangouts and it'll take me to the chatting section. This is what's going to be my um, you know where I will chat and it'll show me everything uh, how we simply use Google Chat. So all you have to do is just you have to activate these apps. These are within your admin. You get one admin on Google Workspace and then you'll be able to use it. Um, similarly we have devices. So on Google Workspace I can actually connect more than one devices and it will show me the devices that I have and I'll be able to also check Chrome we have we have mobile and endpoints we have networks and more we also have a billing for our Google workspace this is where I will be managing my subscriptions for my different apps we have Google Calendar this is one of the most important apps that we use when it comes to our business um, so what you do is you can uh, turn on this service as well and you'll be able to schedule your meetings you'll be able to create invites send invites using your google calendar create different events and much more um, similarly we have drives and documents this is also one of the most important uh, app that we go for google drive where we can upload any kind of data files and documents we also have google docs where i'll be able to create professional documents uh, within my google workspace we are also getting our google sites right here you can see if I just scroll down a little bit and we have sites right here so Google sites mean that I'll be able to create sites right here and you can turn on this status as well and uh, you can also share your different settings with your team member so this is how it works within our google workspace we have this task option right here at the top uh, this shows you your different tasks if you have a team added if you have more than one team and if you have created different tasks on maybe google calendar or google task it'll show you right here this is our notification and this is going to be our all of the apps right here you can see uh, these are the apps we have. We have uh, Cloud Search available as well. We have Jamboard. Uh, we have Podcast as well, Earth and Google Travel too. So this is all in one hub that Google is providing and you can sign up the way I showed you step by step. And after the initial setup, this is where you will get, this is going to be your main admin. And this is where you will get all of the different options and use Google suit for your small business you don't need any other application you have all of these different google apps available within the google suite and you'll be able to run a successful business online so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up or leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to youtube channel